Hello everyone, it is I Reverse and welcome back to some more Knights and Dragons. You guys answered my question. Do you guys want to see more evolutions of the armors that are called the Kanit's Playmill and the Cyclops Battle Gear? And uh, well, I'm gonna do it. You guys actually really wanted to see it badly. Uh, I didn't ask the question a long time ago. I believe it was the last episode, but uh, I actually went on ahead and crafted a lot of armors here. I'm actually gonna show you. you uh, I'm actually gonna show you guys something cool. I have been um, crafting basically the um, the volcanic mantles, and I'm actually gonna show you guys what they do. In case you guys are wondering about what they're doing, if you're not sure about it anymore, uh, I'm actually gonna do it on the Arvis Steel Vanguard. So I'm gonna show you guys what the difference is between a regular two star. That is the same type element. So, for example, the snake skin armor. I'm gonna place this one in the Arbor Steel Vanguard, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what the experience is that that it gives me. So, it gives me 24 experience, which is quite nice. Now, if we actually take one uh, two star, that uh, 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 if we actually take a two star, yes, that's what I wanted to show you guys. If we take a two star of the same element. The experience it gives, it is 50, which is really nice. That's a 2 star. Now, if we have a special 1 star that we cannot craft, which is a different element. It is going to give us, how much experience? It's not going to give us 20, 24 experience at least. It is going to give us 41 experience. That's kind of weird. It gives us 41 experience. Um, and that's probably because it was level 1, uh, level 2 or something like that. So now, we are going to take this Volcanic Mantle and put this one in. And we are going to see how much experience this one gets on the Arbor Steel Vanguard. Also, 50 experience. So, that means that if you have two basic armors of the same type, like for example, you have the, uh, well, what is it called? The, what, what? the basic armor of the Earth and of course the basic armor of the Fire. You, co you combine them together and you're going to get a Volcanic Mantle. Some of you guys didn't know this, I didn't really set it out loud, like the way I am doing it, showing it off to you guys right now. But this is a very efficient way to actually get a cheap 2 star. Uh, or a very expensive 1 star, that's how you can look at it as well. So we are going to equip the Kanit's Blade Mail. And uh, it's gonna make it easier for me to enhance, obviously, because it's gonna be in there. This is the first form. It looks really weird. It's having a, a broken stick or something like that. That has uh, having a golden handle. Uh, the sword looks kind of uh, the 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 shield looks quite nice. It has a little face on it. Uh, don't like the armor in general. Although the color combination is quite cool. It it really fits pretty well in uh, the female version. Uh, I think the female version looks alright, so um, I'm gonna use the male version. Okay, that didn't make any sense at all. The female version looks alright, so okay, we're gonna use the male version. Okay, the way I've been doing it, I'm actually gonna watch to see how far it can actually go up to by only using the volcanic mantle. So I'm just going to use these and see how far it's gonna get up to because I have been, well, I suppose fusing them away. Level 10 right off the bat, that's very nice. So we're gonna get to our first transformation after this one immediately. This is the first transformation of the Kanit's Blade Mill. It does look kinda better. I do like it a lot better than it was. Level 15. I expect this to be a short enhancement episode, so it should be fine. This is the male version once again. The stick has grown, the shield got a little bit bigger, the helmet got like two horns on both sides. It looks a little bit more impressive now. The female version still looks quite the same. Uh, I like the female version better on this one for some weird reason which I don't understand. Probably because of the boobs. Um, I feel that the male version looks too buffed in my opinion. So I don't know. I'm just gonna keep on using the male version. That doesn't make sense again. Like it looks more buffed and I don't like it but I'm using it anyway. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that is reversal logic for you there. So we're going to keep on going with the enhancements. Should be getting a, a ton of experience. I actually wanted to see how far we could get it up to with only using volcanic mantles. I uh, think that would be a nice experience to do to show it off to you guys. Right now, level 22. We uh, have like 30 in total to use. Um, I was thinking that like 32 of them would be enough to get it up to level 35. I might be wrong with this one. It seems that I am, but that's okay. Then at least I know for the next time when I'm enhancing it. So it's soon to be done. It's level 28 already. And we have like three of them left, so that should be good. Uh, gonna keep on going. 
I, I expect this to be level, level 31 or 32 maybe, no level 31, so that wasn't really all that successful. Gonna use a 1 star now as well. And we're almost there guys, we're almost there. It's really exciting to get it up to level 35 so fast. Level 32, gonna use, well, 4 of these because they're same type element. I expect it to level up to the maximum transformation as it is. And there you go. This is the Kanit's play pill level 35 guys i'm gonna show you guys off the different versions as well and um as always this is the male version i do the i do like the green little i don't know dew drops that you are seeing on the on the twig uh it looks quite impressive it has like spikes on there so that's a nice detail um Kanit's play pill it's again a mysterious looking armor i don't really understand why it goes with red eyes i suppose it kind of fits the shield it looks pretty buffy, but it looks nice now with the with the weapon here. The horns, I don't know. The helmet just doesn't appeal to me all that much. I would have liked it a little bit better if the helm was a little bit different too. Now the female version here, it's pretty much the same, although it's a little bit less buffy. Um, you're actually gonna see how it looks with the Arachnos. I think that looks bad. That looks kind of bad. If if the Arachnos, if the if the K spider cape would actually be green. Then it would be really awesome. That's what I think. If the if the cape would be green, would be really awesome. So, um, which one do you guys like better? The first form, the second form, or the third form? That's gonna be the question of the day. Make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. Alongside if you like the female version or the man version better. Now what we're gonna be doing is actually showing it off to you guys. On any, I don't know, I'm gonna do a special attack here on there. I'm just gonna go to Relic Ruins and I'm going to just equip this one in here. I already have it equipped. So we're just gonna see how it attacks and everything. Just going to slow it down. Just going to wait until a special attack is there. There's nothing too special. You got the little leaves as usual. It is, of course, a Earth Mono. So I'm gonna do a special attack after this one. I'm gonna see how this one looks. I think it looks quite the same as usual. And there you go. I like the shield. I really like the shield. I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this shield. The shield is nice and big. It's like a little bit bigger even than the little twig. Uh, twig doesn't look too impressive. But I, I I like it a little bit better now. I've seen it leveling up and everything. and seen the transformation. So I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say about this. Tomorrow I'm going to bring out the episode in which we're going to level up the uh, Cyclops battle gear. Or I don't even know what it's called. But I'm going to equip it right now already. Because that way we can actually get used to it and everything. And the Cyclops Battle Gear, I don't know. I like it a lot, especially with this cape. But we're not going to use this cape, we're going to keep it like this. I like this one better already. So, tomorrow is going to be more fun for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the meantime, I'm just going to craft some basic armors, fuse them away. I still have some plenty of fusion stones to make this happening. And as we guys already know, I think I'm going to need like 40 of those armors in order to make it happen. So, uh, going to do that for you guys. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. This was I Reversal for Knights of Dragons. I'll be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.